Welcome back to Mod Pop Thrift. It's Tom, stay-at-home dad for who? <laughs> Evelyn. Uh, we did. I already packed and got stuff going. So uh, we sold a Pokemon, eleven ninety free shipping, and I think I paid four ninety nine for that. So that was not a good pickup. I got this LL Bean uh, that sold for nine plus shipping for a dollar in an estate sale. Mystery one hundred and one, one of those DVDs sold. For like 25 bucks. And then uh, this Tom Swift book sold for almost nothing. But uh, it's just throw it in a bubble mailer and let it go. This, um, these magnets sold for $20 free shipping. And I put them in a uh, flat rate envelope. So they cost me nine bucks to ship. I paid $5 for a huge box of magnets. And I still have a ton of them. And three packages have sold this week. But those are the first three that have ever sold, and I've had them listed for more than a year. This Airwalks shirt sold for uh, $15 plus shipping. I paid a quarter for it at a yard sale. Uh, this Quantico uh, military shirt, single stitch, I paid $4 for it at Goodwill the other day, and it sold for, uh, I want to say $16.99. And then this hat is one that I got for a dollar from the McDonald's manager. That sold for nine. I had it listed for one forty-five, and it did. Nobody cared, and I lowered it to eighty-nine ninety-nine, and it still took a while to sell, but it did sell. Those two are my favorite. Those two are your favorite. The one that Caleb made. That's a picture of him. Show him Caleb on there. Spin it around so we can see Caleb. There's Caleb on there, and then she likes the pine cone one. Yay. Okay, so Heartland sold for $11.99 free shipping. Um, it was sealed, but that's where the comps were. I paid 75 cents for it. Um, and then this Reds hat is the last thing, and it sold for $14.99 free shipping. Um, I had it listed for a long, long time and didn't realize it was listed for $1,499.00 instead of one. $14.99. Um, missed the decimal on that one. And so it was no wonder it didn't sell. So that's it for what sold. Uh, we got to go get the boys in like an hour and a half. So we're going to hit Goodwill to see if we can find anything great. There are professionals coming out of here empty handed as we drive up. Hey, Evie, what's that? Look at these shoes. Nautica. All birds, those funky looking all birds. So these on the new rack that was here when we walked in, Fish and Stream for 11 bucks. I think I'm gonna pass on those. They're pretty chintzy feeling. That looks interesting. A couple of things here that look interesting. Not familiar with that brand in search with no A. This is the same brand. Evie likes that fly fishing shirt. There's a leather jacket and the men's shirts. I don't know that brand. Let's see it. Round Tree by York. And it's just a cotton shirt. It's not like chamois or anything. So the in search, there's three listed, none sold. Look what just hanging on the return rack. Disney store, vintage Disney, small Tigger. That's cool. Five fifty nine. Dude, look at that chair. I am not buying it. But good grief. $12. Somebody's gonna make a fortune on that. 
There's a crowd gathering where this guy normally stops with the tights. Because that's how we do, I guess. That's an interesting looking shoe. Oh, you're looking at him too. Just picked up the mate to shoe somebody was trying on. Oh, well, that's fun. Probably not quite as old as something that I would want to pick up. Big bull. Made in China. I don't see any kind of a date on it. For two ninety nine, dang. Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski. It's a pirate thing, Tokyo. I think the pirate. I just saw the pirate ship. Okay, so this is 229 and I should probably get it. It takes C batteries, which makes it older than like a contemporary new bright. But there's no comps, there's no branding on it. And I found a similar one that was asking $35, but it had no remote. I couldn't find any sold. Abby's playing a song for everybody. You know you got something in the van already. how much these are. They're probably seven or eight bucks and six. They're not in good enough shape to be worried about. Are those Mickey vans or something? Man. They don't appear to be branding at all. Just Disney. The Christmas stuff. There was a willow tree on that shelf that I missed yesterday. St. Nicholas Square, that's a nice looking nativity. Yeah, she's not still there, the willow tree, no surprise. I saw it in the video when I was editing, but I didn't see it in the store. This is a reproduction. You can tell when you touch it, it's just too light to be real. Wow, he's so cutie cute. Can I, can I get him? And it's wobbly. This is the last time I made a video saying how hard we were striking out. It turned around. So hopefully that happens this time because so far I got one thing and nothing even else, nothing else interesting. Perfect, that's perfect. These are interesting looking. They look like they're pretty high quality. Let's see what they are since we're batting exactly zero hdp i don't know what they are i didn't see these they don't look like they're anything too good no they're definitely junk so looking at the dvds i found this thing that's sealed it's the grandeur of greece a jewish journey through greece and there's none listed on eBay, there's none sold. But there is this on a Israel book, Israeli bookstore website that's in English. Um, and it's $30. So I think I'm going to try it for DVDs or 99 cents. And this is probably worth getting for 99 cents, whether it's worth buying, selling or not. So this is Jake and the Neverland Pirates game. Yeah. Games. That's uh, Doc McStuffins, who is our very favorite. Hello Kitty does not appear to be complete. It has the book back there. There's uh, Elmo. That one's cool. Oh, and we can't forget Abby Cadabby. I love that girl. There's the Cars one. Evie, do you want to buy these and see if we can flip them and ship them? These ones? Yeah, you want to buy those? You want those to be your first ever pickup and you buy four, five of them and then see what they're worth? I definitely was not doing any of this when we came in. 
This is Redhead brand, and it says bone dry on the sleeve and bone dry really big. I noticed first that it had this zipper here, but the hood is inside. It's 20 bucks. 20 bucks looks like the right money. I would have been surprised if this was over 50, but I thought it was worth a shot. And then these two are neat. Woolen, Blarney Woolen Mills, which is Irish brand. I don't see where it's, it says where it's made. $6.59. You need to get that little vest. Let's not. It does have a little hole in it. But why it's interesting is here in the materials tag, it's 100% lamb's wool. No, $11 Carhartt Kids Large assembled in Mexico. God, it's a cool color. No tag on the front. Well, that is time, folks. This is $1.14. It's sealed white socks checkers. So we're going to grab that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Evelyn's pushing the cart, so I'm trying not to run anybody over. All right. Um, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Okay, and so I got two pickups at the register, and I told you guys we were out of time, and they're taking forever at the register, and these things are hanging behind the register in a way that I, I wasn't going to film it. But the best, probably the best two things I got, the definitely the most expensive things I got, were behind the register. First one is this leather Illini embroidered G3 uh, Global Identity $29.99. 2XL and it fits me so it's a good 2XL and then the back kind of looks like a jersey a lion eye I think that's going to do super well I haven't actually run comps on it but if it's not $125 I'll be shocked and this was the same price $29.99 it is well MSRP is $100 on it and it is 100% lamb's wool. Again, that's going to do pretty well. There is a sold comp on this for 100 bucks, but it's a 2XL. I've, I'm going to list this for $79.99 and see what happens.